An aggressive move by Kevin Harvick. He knows he can go a little bit further before he has to get on the brakes to come to the pit. And look, Busher just says, don't be passing me. But yeah. Kevin didn't do anything wrong there, guys. Busher turned right to go up there and hit Kevin. Kevin was going to remind him that he didn't like him being blocked on that restart. Kevin saw Bush. This is what we talked about. This is why cup guys get to pit road and gain an advantage. They know how far they can run more so than the rookies do. Kevin was taking advantage of James slowing down. And John was yelling at Jeremy Mayfield. Jeremy gestures back. And then actually Robbie Gordon gave Andretti a ride back to the garage. So at least visually the complaint that Andretti has is with Jeremy Mayfield. Brian Scott, he's not happy with Nelson Piquet Jr. He turns him sideways on pit road. Afterward, there was quite a disagreement about who was to blame. Larry accosted me, so uh, I have a real problem with that. I have a problem with Ernie Irvin and that whole bunch. You know, I, evidently, it wasn't my fault on that deal. He drove up into me, and he wrecked himself. You know, then he had the audacity to come over here and accost me. You know, I'm not happy with it, and I'm going to have a talk with NASCAR about it. You know, he's just lucky I didn't knock him on his butt. Anytime you get near Darren Coe, you, it don't matter whether he's on a lead lap or a lap down or five laps down, you, you can't race him in eighth win of the season. You are the worst driver ever! I hate you! Kyle Petty and Michael Waltrip, they're going at it. Petty, ripping off the gloves, he wants to punch him. I crush you! Now he's mad at somebody else. Kyle Petty, rather displeased. As were many others, as you'll find out soon. If he has a set left. Oh, yeah, he does, because yep. I think two of these stops have been on the green today. Yeah, but he stopped under the first caution. Oh, what's all this? Ooh. Maybe that's where the debris came from. Tony Stewart in the 81 and Mike Bliss in the 20. And we're sitting here with five race teams that have done the right thing, and these guys that waited a little bit longer, they've actually made up spots on us. So naturally, we're frustrated about it. But we have confidence in David Hoots and the guys up there. And you know, if not, we'll just go in there and kill them. <laughs> I was wondering where the punchline was coming. <laughs> They're starting to move some guys around. Ooh, the 32 was a little upset also. Well, and that happened on the last lap where uh, Larson ended Ooh. up. Oh, he turns him. And L Larson did, ended up finishing 14th after being in the top did 10. Did Max have his window net down? I think he was putting his window net down there. Yeah, this this is under yellow now. Right. The 40 drives up and hits the 10. 10 comes back. Points his finger out the window. So there's two guys that are mad at each other already. Yeah. Here's the onboard with Stremi. So the hit from the 10 came first, and then Stremmy yeah. drove him back up. Dave, what do you know about this? Well, Scott Riggs didn't really know what the 40s problem was, so he's a little confused as to why David Stremmy, a lap down, should be racing him so hard. NASCAR official said, look, that call was made upstairs. I didn't make that call. Tony, he's now, who, 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 can I, who can I argue with? Okay, I'll go over and talk to this guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some good emotion there, Tony. He's a competitor. He, he is, is definitely yes, a competitor. Sir. Can't See? blame him. They went beating on each other for third spot, right down to the wire. Ernie Irvin on the outside, hammering with Kenny Irwin Jr. Irwin held on to claim the spot. And then on the cool-off lap, Ernie Irvin a little unhappy about the way that last lap unfolded? I think so. Son, we need to talk. <laughs> 